I've been making almond butter for years and one thing that I found is that if I just use the almonds, it has a thick consistency that I don't like so much. So that's where I started using both almonds and pecans. So three simple ingredients, once I add in some nice flaky sea salt, gives it the perfect consistency, whether you're spreading it on an English muffin or whether you wanna eat it with apple slices, it's really fantastic. So you wanna roast your nuts just also for that flavor um, and color of your almond butter. If you've bought store-bought almond butter, you'll notice not only is it thick and dry, but it doesn't have a great color. So I think you'll see once we finish roasting the nuts how much nicer it is. Let's preheat our oven. We're going to use convection bake today at 350 degrees. You don't want to go much higher than that or you might burn the nuts. So we're gonna let this preheat about five minutes. The oven will tell me when it's ready and then we'll add the nuts in. I'm gonna be using our round perforated baking tray today. This is a fairly new accessory for us. It came out in February of 2021. You could use your speed oven glass tray. You could use your universal tray. Any tray that came with your oven, you just wanna make sure you're using convection bake at 350. So what I recommend doing also, through my years of experience making this, is roast your almonds first. They take a longer time than the pecans. Pecans burn so easily. So I'm gonna get my almonds ready on my tray. I do the whole pound bag. I'm not gonna use all of those um, for this recipe, but I just like to have them roasted and ready to go, and they're also great to just snack on. So I have them on my tray in a nice single layer, um, and then we'll do our pecans separately for only about six minutes. So once our oven's preheated, we'll come back and I'll show you how to set the timer. One feature on your Miele oven that I don't think many people use is setting the duration. So my pro tip for this recipe with something like nuts that can burn very easily, set the duration. That way if you get busy, you walk out of your kitchen, get distracted, the oven will shut off after your set time. So I'm gonna go ahead and press the change button. I have my oven preheating and I'm gonna go into the additional settings. Under the additional settings, you'll see the duration. So I'm gonna set that for 10 minutes and select OK. And I'm gonna put my almonds in the oven, my perforated round tray. And now I'm all set. In 10 minutes, the oven will shut off and then we can go ahead and roast our pecans. The almonds finished and as I promised, you could see that the program finished and the oven turned off. So we wanna take those almonds out of the oven. Make sure I close the door to keep some of that heat in. We'll put them in a large bowl so they can cool slightly and then put our pecans on that same tray. And now we're going to put those in the oven and set the duration for six minutes. So just a reminder, we're gonna press that change button, additional settings, the duration will come up. We'll set that for six minutes, select OK, and in six minutes, we'll come back. The pecans have finished cooking too, so that was about six minutes. There you go. And I'm going to take that out. They get to be a really beautiful color. Exactly six minutes, 350 degrees, perfect for me every time. So we'll put these in a bowl. You do wanna allow the nuts to cool for a little bit of time, maybe five, 10 minutes at least. Um, if you put them directly in the food processor, it could start gumming up. You wanna let them cool a little bit. So we'll come back in about five, 10 minutes. So this is one recipe. I'm sorry for anybody that does not own a food processor, but you really do need one to make almond butter. Um, so I have my food processor ready. This is an uh, 11 cup food processor. So that's a perfect size for the amount that I'm going to make. I found that the perfect ratio for what I like is one cup of almonds to a quarter cup of pecans. The ratio is really up to you. Sometimes I go a little heavier on the pecans. It'll make it even a looser butter. Um, if you put more almonds, it'll be a drier butter. So, but I like one um, to a quarter. So I'm gonna do actually two cups of almonds. 
and then a half a cup of pecans. As I mentioned earlier, I did all of the nuts just because that's what's in the bag and I like to eat them roasted anyway, so why not do them all? So I will just set these aside for another day for snacking or making more almond pecan butter. So I'll put the top on my food processor and I'm gonna start by pulsing it. And this is when I say to anybody in the house, this is gonna be loud for a second. Once I pulsed it roughly, I'm going to add some salt. Um, this is up to you taste-wise also. Um, maybe about a half to a quarter teaspoon. Don't go too heavy. You can always add more at the end. I have found though that by adding some in the beginning, it helps it blend nicer. Um, the almonds just and pecans just seem to break down a little better. So I'm gonna add my sea salt there. I also like to use kosher flake salt if you happen to have that. It does not have to be sea salt. Now I'm gonna let this go for at least 10 minutes. During that 10 minutes, there will be some times that I need to stop the bowl, scrape down the sides, sometimes scrape the bottom around the blade. You can use a spoon. You could use a mini spatula. I love mini spatulas. Um, but you will need to scrape it down occasionally so it's not just like leave it and let it go. So let's um, start it now and we'll come back maybe five minutes and we'll see where we are. Let's just scrape down the sides a little bit. I like to scrape down the lid. And then you can see just a little bit on the sides there. This is doing a really nice job. See the consistency now? I like it thinner than that. So I'm gonna let it keep going about another four to five minutes and just keep checking the texture. Okay, so I can see the consistency is really where I like it. So you can let it go longer, shorter, up to you. But I just wanna show you uh, in the bowl just how nice of a consistency that is. So right now you could transfer this into a three cup glass bowl with a lid and you could use it yourself for the next couple weeks. I'm gonna transfer mine into some pretty jars and I'm going to give it to some of my friends. So first step is to remove your blade. Don't waste any of that almond butter. I always make sure I clean it off really carefully with my mini spatula. I can't tell you how many mini spatulas I've been through over the years cleaning this metal blade. They do get worn out over time. Okay, so I'm gonna put that down on my towel and I'm gonna use this one as my holder. And now I'm just gonna fill my jars. I'll probably get two. And I will show you this one though, how pretty. I'm just gonna put a nice little lid on it, give it to my friends here in Princeton and they can enjoy almond pecan butter at home too. So I hope you agree, this is so easy. Everybody asks me, how do you make almond butter? That's all you need to do, and you can stop buying almond butter in the store. So thanks for joining us, and we'll see you on our next Meal of Cooks.